I'm Andy Bailey with the National Weather Service in Pleasant Hill and I'm going to take just a moment to talk to you about wireless emergency alerts. It's a system that's been in place uh, for several years now that uh, we use to alert people to flash floods and tornado warnings in, in this part of the country. The way it works is when the National Weather Service issues either a flash flood or a tornado warning, our information goes out through our computer system to a gateway located in Washington, D.C. From there, the information travels over to the Department of Homeland Security and out to all the telecommunication providers out there. Um, once that information is received by the cell phone carriers, uh, they essentially broadcast that through their cell phone towers, and if your phone is in range of one of those cell phone towers in the warning, it will go off with the warning information. Sitting at our AWIPS workstation here, and I'll bring up a program on the radar display called WarnGen. When we bring that up, there's a little cursor that says drag me to the storm. We'd move it to the storm and adjust it for the storm motion. Um, once we have a, a track that we like, we'll adjust the box. We can zoom in and adjust the actual location for the warning. Over here on this text workstation behind me, uh, the computer's actually generated the words. And we'll go down, proofread it. When everything checks out, we'll go ahead and hit the send button. At that point, the warning actually goes out to the world and, uh, and goes through all the various uh, alerting methods, whether it's a smartphone app, wireless emergency alerts, goes to all the, the broadcast TV and radio stations, really goes out to the world.